this is my first stream on this channel for a while. Uh, my last one's on Minecraft, but I didn't have a, I didn't have the motivation to continue those. What I'm gonna do here, because I know a lot of people want to learn to draw, and especially because it incorporates one of my favorite VR games in the world, I'm actually going to try and teach viewers a few things about drawing in Rec Room. Um, to parents watching this, this is a VR game which is free on PS4 and on PC from Steam. And honestly, it's one of my favourite games. It's interactive, it's funny, you get to meet people, um, it's protected, and you can get cool outfits like this. Like, these wings I got this morning, they're new in the store, they're expensive though, so. So what we're going to be doing is, yeah. like, just saying, I'm going to be using... Um, I'm going to be using Valar Academy to do this stream because um, if anyone here has knows what um, oh nice diamonds online. If anyone here knows what Valar Academy is, knows the hosts, I'm a soon-to-be host of Valar Academy. So I'm going to use it because I feel like I'm going to use a private version though because griefing. So we're going to head there and all that work. While we're doing that, I'm going to shut my door and tell my family that I'm streaming now! Huh. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is Valar Academy. My favourite place to come when I'm bored. So we're going to use... Like, this is rubber. <laughs> As some of you probably know. Alright, we're going to rub this out. So there's hundreds of other boards. We could just do that. Um, so I'm going to start incorporating a style to this. Because recently, as you can see from my profile picture. Oh, that's not my profile picture. As you can see from my profile picture, this is the style that I go for now. It's, it's black and white, yeah, but it has colour in it. And so we're going to be trying doing that with a horse head. So we'll start with like regular shapes you know just for the sake of some of you I might do a sketch before I do an outline so we'll use one of the lighter greys make a sketch so a horse head tends to start with the big circle that represents basically the cheekbone so if that's a cheekbone then it needs a front circle where like the front of the mouth is going to be and there is usually depending on what kind of horse you're making a pretty steep curve between them. So if I was to make uh, a cart horse, they're big, bulky, got a lot of muscle. There is a, they have a pretty thick face. <laughs> so we have this. Um, a regular racing horse wouldn't have such a steep curve up here. A racing horse would have maybe that. But we're gonna do a cart horse because I don't do them very often. So then every horse tends to have a flap of skin under like their chin area. So as you're going back, bring a little bit down and then bring it, bring it up again, join it with that. So you've got the rough shape of a cart horse head. I'm gonna rub out that line. So in Valite you have multiple different erasers. I tend to use just these little pen ones because they're convenient and you can get small spaces with them. So we'll do a more accurate outline in a minute, but that's what we've got right now. Uh, grab this again. So a horse's nostril tends to be right in the corner, like that. And with a horse's eye, you go down or across right through the middle. A horse's eye tends to be maybe just above that cross. So a horse's eye will be about there. Um, I like to add a few lines to indicate some muscles in the face about here. Uh, about there. And maybe some bones around the eye to accentuate it a tiny, tiny bit. So one thing that I found very helpful when drawing animals like this 
especially in a side profile, is that with any animal with their eyes on the side, you can line up their nose, their eyes, and their ears. And that's very helpful for proportions. So our horse's ear is going to go just about there. Oh, I've got a cheer. That's nice. So our horse's ear is going to go about there. Looks a bit angry right now. So we'll we'll give it a better expression as time goes on. But what we're going to do is we can make... I'm going to bring this ear up a little bit, actually. I don't want it to look completely out of it. So just bring the ear up there. That's about our ear. Doesn't matter if it's not completely accurate. There we go. Because art is subjective. It can be anything. So we'll create the indication for some wavy hair over here, which we'll colour in a minute. And I'll teach you a classic way that I like to do it. We have this. Cart horses, which is what we're doing here, have a very thick neck full of muscles. It starts about halfway through their cheekbone. So we'll have like... They have a curve there where their Adam's apple is. And we'll follow on from this line at the top. Uh, ignore the sketch right now. Follow on from that line at the top. Go all the way down as far as you want. I, right, looking at this now, I'm going to edit or change this curve to that. We can readily make changes. It does not have to be permanent. Nothing is. So now we've got a sketch. We'll clean up our lines a little bit. Just like this. Hold on, I'm going to adjust my position in my room real quick. I'm move my chair. Alright, there we go. We're back. So, if we've cleaned everything up, what we're going to do here, we're going to use one of the dark black pens to go around the lines that we want to keep. Most of this, if you're following along exactly on what I'm doing, will be covered over by the end. But of course, as you can see in my profile picture, there is a lot of white space for highlights. So we'll use that too. Also, um, that's not the right pen. Uh, we'll grab one of these small ones. That's a black one. I, f I forget that we're doing a sketch before. So we're going to use... I'm going to do some lines maybe down there to indicate a muscle. Alright. I don't have the fullest... Um, the fullest education on a horse's muscles but this is how I've always done it and it usually works out for me. So when it comes to fine details on the horse's mouth a horse's mouth is a pretty simple one to do. If you can bring this back like normal it tends to come out and then down. There you go. I think people are crashing. They're coming online and offline a lot. So that is about our mouth. If you want to do a bridle on reins, like I sometimes do, I might do it for this actually to break up, break it up a bit. So the bit goes at the side of the mouth. Uh, I can't remember the individual parts of a bridle, but there's a strap that goes round the nose, connects to the bit. When that connects to the bit. And there is a strap that goes, I believe, right in front of the eye and behind the ear. It comes around and meets in the middle and goes under the chin. There's a chin strap. I think that's what it's called. I have no idea. Don't take my word for any of the individual pieces. But this is what a bridle tends to look like. And then... These are connected. Sometimes there's like a ring there. Maybe there's a ring here. Make those up. They're connected through that. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Jeez. Okay. And then there's the bit. The reins always come down from the bit. Going all the way down. So we've got this. Not the happiest looking horse right now, but we don't really expect him to be. Not until we add some colour and whatnot like that. I'm going to do some of that. 
think that'll look. Now, the color we want for this piece is mainly in the main. So what I want to do is I want to bring this round. That's, there goes the dogs. I want to bring this round and I want to create a nice wavy effect with the main. Also, this um, stream, particularly a horse's head, is dedicated to my granddad who has been asking me for a horse's head drawing for a long time, but I never got round to it. Um, I think we'll just end the bust of the horse here. Um, we'll just cut it off here. Please do tell me if you like the art lesson that I'm doing. I didn't even finish the bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Muffin Man's online for once. That is horrendously new. I'll clean that up in a minute. But what we got here is our basic sketch. Since this is a side profile and it's resting, there's no action in it. There's no need to draw the second rain because it's a side profile. You're not going to see the second rain. And, oh, new message. Huh. I'm not sure if I've done anything. Oh, no, he's watching the stream. Oh. <laughs> hey, Muffin Man. I, di I didn't realize you were watching the stream, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you you're not usually online. Um... Sketch. So now we can take one of these pen. I I'm not sure what he's on about anymore. So we're gonna just go around with this, sketch it a little bit, or just finalize it. Now, even with this, you don't have to be completely accurate. It would be nice to be accurate, but some people don't have that kind of hand. Just know, it's okay if you don't. See? Mine, my lines are a bit jaggedy. But composition makes up for it. And yeah, because if, if you look in my profile picture, this is the first one I did of this style. It's a bit jaggedy, occasionally, like, especially around that pore in the middle. So we can make up for that with the composition. I just outline the nostril there. We'll go around. No, it's it is a bit of a weird sensation talking to people that you can't see. Go under here. And all the rain the bridal strap for a second. Go around. We have this. It's a pretty angry looking horse, so I might make the eye a bit wider. So let's do the bit right there. As I said, most of this will be covered over with the shading that I'm going to teach you. Shading, I can't really teach you first, <laughs> pardon me, uh, first hand because it's a bit odd. Once you understand, like, so I usually do it so the light is coming from behind or hitting it neutrally from the front. So if you look here, there's shadow on both sides of it. The light's directly hitting the middle of the squirrel. That's basically shading, essentially. Um, if you look on my Reckonet account, for those of you who know what it is, <laughs> for those of you who know what uh, or know what Reckonet is or have an account, uh, like, I posted the lizard and, well, a lizard one that I did yesterday. Um, I'll be trying to do these every day because I know with recent events, everyone is a little bit bored with online schoolwork. I know I am. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try and help people out. Why did I do that? Oh no, that's fine. I'll fix that in a minute. Nothing is permanent. Everything can be changed because 
that's what I like about Rec Room art. Because if I if I was say I was to do like that, I didn't want that line there. You could just grab one of these, one of one of these. I'll check the message in a minute, and just rub it out. And there's no trace of it anymore. I didn't even know ducks could get the coronavirus, but they can. Why is everyone coming on and off on? What am I saying? Like, coming on and offline again. It's strange. Um, right, we'll connect these two. There we go. Um, also, just saying, this is a riding bridle. So, cart horses don't tend to have riding bridles. Because they're not really that kind of horse. But, I don't know how to do a working bridle. So, I'm just going to do this and i've seen people ride um i've seen people ride these cart horses before honestly uh what was i saying i don't know what i was gonna say you know ignore that but so far you can take as long as you want on doing the outline if you're watching along with this or following along pause pause it at any time if you're doing it live i'm so sorry <laughs> I can't help you there, but I am pausing to explain a lot of things, so I guess you have some time to catch up. We can clean up outlines in a minute, of course, with that little pen. And, yep. So that's about, like, the muzzle done. We can outline... I'd use a dotted outline to um, give the idea of muscle there and now let's move on to the actual eye there's bone around here right so this is some pretty complex shading or it's going to be fairly complex but if once you have a formula and a feel for it you'll get it in no time so i'm going to make this eye slightly wider so it doesn't look as angry see there you go even doing something like changing something as simple as the width of the eye can change the whole expression of it. See, it looks slightly happier now. Or more of a neutral um, face. So once we have this, um, we'll go over the top. Go over the top here. I'm checking, because like, this is why I don't do sketches, because I tend to lose track of the lines I need to do. Lines I need to outline. Right, you can get create like at the start of the cheekbone, which is this like big big circle that started with, you can create a little overlap there. Not like I did, because that's awful. But just to show, because in cart horses especially the cheekbone is often exaggerated quite sparingly. So we'll just that's not the word. That isn't the correct usage for the word sparingly. Sparingly. Um, used quite... The cheekbones are often exaggerated quite a lot. So just keep that in mind. I draw horses a lot, so it's why I don't have to look at a reference image to do this. I might be doing something wrong. But in my mind, as long as you get, as long as you get the idea across... Anything is possible. I've only just realised now that this might be slightly wrong. But I'm going to keep it because I feel like it looks okay. And like, please don't judge me for getting a little detail wrong. Because I'm only 13. <laughs> and I'm not ready for that kind of judgement yet. Please, if you know someone who... Oh, I flew through a wall. If you want to learn drawing or you know someone who wants to learn drawing or if you know someone who likes VR games, please recommend either this video or Rec Room itself because it really is a wonderful game and it's taught me a lot about myself, the things I can do. I've convinced a lot of my friends at school to get Rec Room. I doubt it, but if anyone... <laughs> 
who works at Rec Room watches this know that your game has completely changed me. Hopefully for the better, but we don't know that yet, do we? I'm going to try and get this up because a bridle won't stop there. I'm going to leave that bridle part there. Then we'll rub out that line in a moment. So I'm going to leave the main or the lines we've used to indicate the flow of the main unoutlined because I've learnt this from my last two drawings the appearance of a black outline on a completely colourful surface looks slightly odd in my style please feel free to not do it like this change it if you're if you have a style you can change the position you can change anything you want right that's apart from the bridle no, not the bridle, the reins. Genuinely crouching down in real life to do these lines. Um, not the smoothest, but we can work with it. And then we'll do the muscles here. There we go. We'll just leave it like that. So that's our pretty beefy cart horse. So we'll go through and we'll rub out a few of those messy lines so we can deal with it. It won't look strange. And then I'll start shading. Uh, I am going to have to go through and rub out all of these grey lines. If this gets lengthy, then I apologise. But otherwise we're going to have bits of grey peeking through on our completely white highlights. So we don't really want that. Or are completely light white areas. Um, so I'll talk about like rec room a bit more. So there's a lot of stuff you could do here. Um, you can come to art rooms and draw. You might see me in there. Because I come to Publix often. Often stated by um, hosts as well and the owner. If you want to draw, I would... If we want to draw a big piece, I would suggest doing what I'm doing and going to a private room. So it's invite only, no one can join you. And you can do it without being griefed, which is unfortunately one of the biggest problems uh, rec room art rooms have. Um, we're working on a solution for griefing, but essentially what griefing is, for those of you who don't understand the term, it's when someone joins a uh, joins an art room with the intention of ruining someone's work either by scribbling over it rubbing it out writing stuff on it things like that and just so you know it is a kickable offense so if you get caught griefing you will be kicked hopefully immediately and if we catch them quick enough the artwork will be restored so just bear that in mind if you want to start creating art here. Other than art rooms though, there is quests that you can do. My personal favourite is Crimson Cauldron. Um, but I would suggest if you're a complete beginner starting on Golden Trophy, which is the easiest and it's also pretty fun. So the quests are basically just little, they're like games you can play that involve stages, um, fighting goblins or sometimes like skeletons and things your classic like dungeon and dragons kind of kind of creatures and at the end depending on what rank you got how many points you got you get a outfit piece you get an outfit piece that you can wear back when i was um starting to get level 30 which is max level I basically did, I played Golden Trophy so much. I barely played anything else because it's the easiest one. And I liked the armor outfit that you can get, the knight armor. Because it looks pretty nice. The gloves I have on now are from Crimson Cauldron. They're called the Witch, the White Witch Hunter gloves. And I believe they are B rank, I think. With most quests, the highest rank you can get is S rank or S plus. I'm not sure what S stands for. Oh, glitch. 
with glitches, they, they'll happen pretty often. So, you know, it's another thing to keep in mind. But if you're not a fan of quests, you're not a fan of drawing, you can play sporty games, uh, paintball. Um, there's Stump Runner, which is kind of like a game show kind of thing. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Knockout? Is that the name of the show? It's like a bunch of obstacles where up to four people can see who can beat them all first. It's fun. It has some nice has a nice commentary thing commentating over you. Um, you know what? Most of that in the space is gone. So I'll, I'll just rub it out as I go. So we can start with the shading now. So I tend to start with this pen. Those are the same colour. With our darkest shades. So then just going off instinct here. It's not completely right. I am sorry. But after that... We can colour all of this in, be a block colour. Here we go. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. And then we'll So we'll just we'll just go through and we'll um We'll do all of the darker shades before we move on to the lighter ones. There we get this. There we go. It'll take us a while, but the final outcome is often rewarding. If any of you don't want to play Rec Room or anything, you just like the streams, I will happily accept some requests for um, drawings in future. I don't, I want to make it smooth. There we go. That's smoother than it was. Alright, that's our first dark shaded area. Nearly. Adapt it as you go. Go with your instincts. Um, that's our first bit. So there is going to be, since light is hitting it directly here, there's going to be a slight bit of shadow here. Because I'm going to have it, for the sake of this, the light hits it from like this angle. So where part of the lights, where this is blocking part of the light, there would be a shadow here. Try and envision it in your head in real life. Because that's what I do, but I still don't have a full understanding of it. Same here, that would be blocking sunlight. Uh, we'll do the same here. In fact, most of this would have a pretty distinct shadow. So we'll just simplify it and do a large curve. There we go. And then... Once again, instincts tell me this should go here. And this. And this bottom lip should be done. That is about what we want. That's pretty nice so far. Um, now we have this. Another bit of shadow. I might colour in the reins the same colour as I do the... um main actually because I feel like that could look nice uh, I'm trying to figure out how I could do the muscles in the middle of the face so like that's hitting it there would be a slight slight shadow I feel like so we're going to leave it like that we're going to leave it at that smoothing it out Uh, same here. So we'll create like a large curve to go down because that whole thing would have a shadow. And I might make it look nice and curve that down there. This is probably the most I've attempted to commentate. And I feel like it's working. 
because it's nice to talk out loud to yourself sometimes. Don't quote me on that, but it is nice sometimes. So we have this. Uh, this looks like pretty complex shading, but as I said before, once you have a formula or a feel with it, you can just go with your instincts and you usually end up creating something pretty nice. From a distance, that is pretty good, but I might extend this bit out a little bit. Do whatever you want in order to make something look nice. Um, art does not have to be entirely accurate. She's online again. I, d I don't know what she's doing. Um, if you're looking for an art room, though, I would highly suggest Val Art Academy. It's one of the most popular, but it is one of the most well-made. And all of the hosts are very involved. They're always online, happy to help out. So if you have any questions about it, you can ask them. If you feel like learning to draw amongst other artists, um, um, Valart has a Discord. Uh, I might edit this stream later and put the link to that Discord in the description once I've asked Val for permission. Uh, Val uh, Valhalla is the owner of Valart, by the way. We'll give some credit. There we go. So that's our big shadow there. Can smoothen it out a little bit here. Nice. This is maybe the only part where you have to try and be quite clean with how you're doing your lines. Because uh, as you can see, the black, the outline from a distance here is like barely noticed especially on these parts where the black's touching it or the dark grey so we'll do this again another nice long curve this process with this style of shading I don't do it very often I've only started to do it because after I knew I was going to become host for Valart um I wanted to change the message that I was giving out because I felt like my drawings were a bit too negative. Is my light on in here? No, it isn't. It's just really hot in my room right now. And that's the thing about a VR headset. It gets hot, it gets stuffy. So take regular breaks for those of you who have one or are thinking about getting one. So that's pretty smooth. I like that. Well, I'm... I feel like I want to add like some a little bit of shadow there. There we go. Nice. That's that's pretty good. There will be a very small shadow for this. Have that. So far, not gonna lie, that's looking pretty good. has a nice feel to it. There we go. Look at that. So I might add some texture. I thought I had footsteps behind me. That freaked me out for a second. I might add some texture. Have you seen my lizard drawing? I've added texture in the form of like a few areas where there are scales. I, want, I like adding texture with just the plain black markers because it makes the texture stand out and it gives it a, like an almost a cartoony look. And I, I like that look. Right, since these are going to be completely blocking light, we can completely shadow those. That would all be showing light. There'd be a slight shadow behind it. There. And if light was hitting it from this angle... There would be light coming from there. There we go. Nice. Actually, I might leave that bit. I'll redo that. But so far, this this side's accurate.
that's such accurate. I want to redo that bit. See, nothing is permanent. There is nothing that you can do with art that you cannot undo or redo. And that's what I like about it. Structure there. And then I'll actually finish doing that because I appear to have given up halfway through it. Right, regarding the streams, I think I mentioned before that I'll be doing them every day. I've been doing them every day because, number one, I think people want to learn art. Also, it's a beneficial thing to learn. Number two... I'm bored and I'm sure a lot of every I'm sure everyone else is too. And three, I want to make art and so does my family. And I don't want to let them down. So we're going to do this. I'm like I'm like I like how it looks so far. Thinking about it, this cheekbone is not going to have any light on it whatsoever. So I might change I might have it so it's like just at an angle. So this cheekbone does have a tiny bit of light. And I say tiny. It doesn't matter. Because it, art is subjective. And it can be anything. Here we go. Oh, by the way. I'll mention it now once I've finished doing this. Did I finish that thing up there? Yeah, I did. Um, Val Art has rules, and it would be really nice. I'll finish that in a minute. The rules are all stated here. Please abide by it because, like, they're not hard to f follow. So, just yeah. Also, one of the rules is to not take photos of other people's art. You can, but get permission from the original artist or not do it at all that's always an option there we go so I've labelled these as art lessons because essentially it is a lesson it's me going through and teaching any people who want to listen how to draw certain things the more we do it the more people will get used to the style that I'm using Like this. I'm going to create like a little. Nice. Looks smooth. I'm going to completely colour in this. Because there's no light hitting this whatsoever. There you go. There. Um, this bit's going to be pretty shield. Did. So we'll colour in like this half. Other than that, that bit will be hit. So we'll just smooth this out a little bit. That is what the ear would look like. And she's back online. It might be a glitch that I have, I don't know, but there is no way she's getting offline and online this many times. I'm going to create some shadow there. I would suggest when drawing do stand like dead in the middle of your camera because you can glitch and it's a common thing and it can it has the means to completely ruin what you're doing that's me hitting my the straps on my motion controllers against the wall and she's back she's an absolute magic lady I don't know how she's doing it uh, I'm going to colour in the nostril with complete black. I might redo the ear hole. <laughs> um, there would be shadow down at the bottom. See, that was a glitch. It messed up my... That was a tracking glitch. It messed up where my pen was. If you do experience any of these tracking... um glitches there is a um, recalibrate option in your op on your settings so you can recalibrate your head your right arm your left arm hand I mean and things like that 
Right, there we go. This is coming along nicely, I think. But the main will be the most tiring thing to do. Because there's a lot of colouring and a lot of blending to do. She's back. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what she's doing, I mean. Alright. Um. Alright, we have this. It's pretty smooth. Uh. This is continuing up here before I finish shading all of it. Nice. You'll have, at some point, you'll have complete control over what your pens are doing. The more you draw in VR, the better you get at it. Jeez, my room is real stuffy right now. Let's bring that down a bit. You're going to be colouring over it, so don't worry about excess lines. So yeah, I'm going to be teaching you a blending technique that's pretty well used. I'm just going to, I'm going to keep responding because I want to keep those messages out of my notifications. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to, don't worry about any excess lines. And anyway, if you do have an excess line, you can clean everything up afterwards. There we go. Artists work really hard on here. You'll you'll meet some people in Valar anywhere, an art room anywhere, who that work really, really hard. And it shows because there are some people's artwork that is absolutely incredible. And I can't remember the exact name of someone, but they're on the Discord quite a lot. And they do the most amazing anime style drawings. And it's so accurate. Um, I think they use a drawing tablet though. If if I can think of their name, I'll mention it when I remember it. Necto, I think, maybe? N-E-K. That's all I can remember. It ends with an O. But it's incredible. It's really accurate. It's the same with a lot of the artists here. So just do be sure to cheer them. Because artists are some of the most hurt people in the world. Like occasionally quite a lot of the time so cheer them let them know they're doing a good job because they deserve it the amount of work they're doing the kind of community they're contributing to it's incredible and they don't deserve the kind of criticism and stuff that they get i'm going to redo that line but in the meantime i'm just going to colour this in. Right, after this, that is about all we can do for our darkest shading. Unless we can add some shade there. That's pretty nice. I'm going off of instincts on what looks nice. So don't completely follow me. You can if you want to, if you like how it looks but, yeah, do what you want, man. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Just here to suggest. There we go. I might link this video in the Discord, actually. So if any hosts are watching thank you because i feel 13 year old that's all of a sudden being considered a host it's a big ask but you're all being super nice i feel real welcome so like thanks thank you right now we've got this we can do the next kind of shading which is this color and then basically it's just the same thing Slightly smaller, 
fading out on the last one. So you don't, once you've got the dark shading, you don't really have to figure out where more light's going to be. Because then you can just colour again with this one. There we go. See? It has depth. So now we'll go down here. I'm kind of running out of things to say. It's just how it is for people streaming. Eventually they just talk too much and they run out of things to say. I'm, I'm a very talkative person, so this is a completely new feeling to me. Now I'm going to colour... Oh, whoops. I'm going to colour in this. Because, why not? And then we'll just... Basically do that. Keep a little white highlight there. Uh, see, I like the look at that front muzzle. So now we'll just do a similar thing with this. Also, I did. I have wanted to say on this stream for a while. Um, the golden potato. Bless you, for for actually getting me, the wings. I guess this stream is just an excuse for me to name drop a few good artists and good people. But Golden Potato, this morning, you didn't have to do that, but you did. And I'm so grateful that you did because it made my day and it'll make my, it'll make my week, my month, maybe. Thank you so much. For those of you, who, well, you don't know what she did. She, the pair of wings that I was wearing um, when the stream started... Um, she got them for me. She gifted them because I didn't have the right kind of money. It's nice that JD's online. Nice to know. I'll get rid of that in a moment. There we go. We're getting into it. It would be nice to get another one of these done. You know what? With these small white highlights, just colour over them. What am I kidding? They don't look good. Even though it wasn't you doing it, it was me, so my bad. There we go. Feel free to use this design, but just... If you're going to use it in Rec Room, especially in a public place, or if you're going to post it, can just asking, could you like make sure people know that it isn't exactly your design because it is it would be nice to get the credit for the design I created alright we have that now that's pretty good I'm going to rub out that little line in the middle I went straight for the wrong pens here nice alright uh, what pen was I using I was using this one so we're here, we're nearly done with the basic shading. So we'll just do that, basically. I'm not going to bother doing these kind of highlights for those because it's slightly pointless. It doesn't look very good. Just do this. Basically, just roughly outline them with colour. By the way, this stuff gets attention in public rooms. So if you want, if you want some extra cheers, you want some extra attention, do an animal with this kind of shading. Or do anything with this kind of shading, because it grabs attention if you're able to pull it off nicely. And she's back online! Jeez. 
Um, see, that looks pretty nice from here, doesn't it? So now we're just gonna do what we're doing before. Go like that. Go around again so we don't mess anything up. Messed up. There we go. Clear as a whistle. Let's go around. I really have just run out of things to say. It doesn't feel good. There we go. Another bit of basic shadowing. We'll create some basic shadow for this. And we'll just do the same, go around here with one of these. Mm, all right. I will try and do these daily. It depends what I have to do that day. But know that I'm going to be trying to make an effort. All right, that's the face. I don't know about you, but I like the look of the face. So now it's just some real basic stuff. Go around the outside of this. Then that. Oh. Oh, there's a there's a glitch right there. <laughs> I'm gonna recalibrate my hand. Sessions up there, advanced, diagnostics, right hand. Nice. And grab this back. And start to colour it in. Here we go. You know what? I'm pulling up my chair again. My legs are tired. I'm gonna turn around so I don't destroy anything. I'm pulling my chair back because my legs are tired now. All right, here we go. There we go. I'll rub out those, like, really irritating sketch lines. This is the most time-consuming part. Just going around, colouring large areas. As soon as I have my permissions, it'll be much easier to just shrink the board. But I don't yet, and most of you won't. So until here, I'm just going to... Do it the play away. Once again, I want to thank, like, Val and everyone who's being really welcoming to me as an admin, not an admin, a host. Because it means a lot to me to be able to help out on my favourite room. And they're being so nice. It's like I found a family to be a part of. Though I'm sure a lot of them don't consider me like that yet. A lot of them haven't met me. <laughs> oh, I got really close to the board. See, it's coming along nicely. We'll go to the other side. That's what it looks like. I think it's nice. Let me know what you guys think. By way of subscribe see that was a glitch by way of subscribing and liking video please see that's the kind of thing that happens even the even the game gets mad at me when i try and ask people to like and subscribe there we go if you have the time go over and check out pack the pjs which is my mum's channel 
well, it's our family channel, but over there we post um, a lot of things to do with our travels around the world, things like that. And I'm only saying that because mum would be mad at me if I didn't. But this is my channel and I can say what I want. Apart from the fact that she watches most of these videos. She won't watch an hour long stream just to find one word though, so don't worry. One sentence. Ooh. Nice. See, that's, that's smooth. It's nice. As soon as I mess up, I say that it's nice. Here we go. We can add some basic texture after we've done everything. Then I'm going to take a picture, post it to RecNet, and we'll see where we go from there. And send this to my granddad. Because he's been wanting a horse head for ages. And I just completely gave up on it. So the last time he asked me for a horse head drawing was last Christmas actually. And I just never got through to it because I have a very busy schedule. So if granddad's watching this, here's your horse head. Drawn in virtual reality. Which is, adds a whole different layer to everything. Honestly, it's pretty easy to get used to. If you want to get used to it, devote some time and you'll get used to it pretty quickly. God, my stomach's empty up today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I was up too early. See? Look, Red Room's good enough to even get me up at five in the morning so I can go down and play it. So if it's good enough to get me to do that, you know that it's a good game. It's like just a a pile of mini games that you can play whenever you want. Here we go. So you can play it with PSVR, you can play it with Oculus. It's free on both platforms. So, I say go for it. And I know a lot of people who play Rec Room, we all consider it a completely hidden gem. That's our shading done. We all consider it a completely hidden gem because of how good the game is. But no one's talking about it. Molly talked about it once. Or played it once. But to be honest, as grateful as the community is for that, it didn't help us much. So we need people to be regularly helping this game out. Because it deserves it. And I want to be one of those people. Because I love this game to bits. So we're going to colour this in black like we did earlier. And before we move on to the colour. I'm going to start rubbing out the sketch lines. See, that's all the shading done. It's... Fairly basic, You, we all know what we were doing, but it works. I don't need to do the eye, I'm going to colour it in anyway. I might, since I used, I might just use some, like, some nice warm red colours for the tail. Feel free to use any colours that you want, but I would suggest colours, when the colours go next to each other, I would suggest one uh, colors that are pretty close in tone so that'd be red and orange orange yellow maybe orange maybe yellow to green because otherwise the shading the blending doesn't work as well because it looks a bit out of place a bit jumpy there we go i don't know why i'm doing this it just annoys me And then we'll get rid of these. This is my life now.
There we go. We, we've we gotten rid of all of the sketch lines on the face. Now I need to get rid of all the sketch lines here. That's why I don't do sketches. Once you get confident enough, you could you could literally just go straight in with a black pen. With a black pen and... Oh, God's sake. I'll redo that in a minute. Go straight in with a black pen and do an outline. Alright, we have this. It's pretty nice. I like it. Hope you guys do as well. Okay. Ow. That's our main body. I'm thinking... Starting with this colour. I know I said I was going to do warm colours, but I don't want to anymore. So I'm going to do the ends of the main with this colour. That would be any part that's pointy. I'll start with... This is my favourite colour. It's vibrant, it's happy, also slightly sinister since it's green and can be associated with reptiles. That's me. I like this colour. It's bold. See? Right, it will take longer to shade the bigger sections we start to do. But it's nice to ease into it. Oh, let's do an outline. Boop. Once again, parents watching this, or if your kids have showed you, VR is a wonderful thing. It's revolutionary. Um, if your kid's an artist... If they want to make something. If they want to connect with people. Rec Room's a good game to do that. So just consider it. And I'm saying this out of love of the game that's given me f the freedom to do this kind of thing. And I'll thank my friend that introduced me to it last year. Alright, there you go. It's a bold colour for a bold animal. I always forget to do the outlines. There we go. So the blending technique's pretty simple. It's very simple, actually. It's very repetitive. But you've got to have a good... You've basically got to train your eye to see what works and what doesn't. That's good colour. Now we can move on to the next one. I feel like... I want to make it this colour so then we can blend it down to yellow, then to orange, and then maybe to red, depending on how much space we have. I'll just create that kind of. We'll create so it like goes to that in the middle. Alright. This is the riskiest thing I've done. Right with this, you don't have to be very careful. Because be careful when it comes to being on the, like, on the lines that you've just done. But I'll demonstrate now how you blend. I like to call it, it's called a stipling technique. Artists who know what stipling is, I bet you know what I'm going to do now. Once that's all coloured in, I'm just going to do dots, getting progressively further out. Oh, that was a glitch, and that's going to ruin my day if that happens again. Rec Room isn't a finished game, so there will be glitches, there will be exploits. But it's still a wonderful game, no matter how faulty it is at times. See, that's created a decent blend from green to blue. Or from blue to green. We'll do it with these. And now you know what... Oh, I got the hiccups. Now we know what we're doing. 
it's just a repetitive case of doing it with however many colours we want. Still got the hiccups. Yeah, I held my breath for a while. I'm not sure if that worked. Right. I keep going. I want to make it smooth like that. You could just blend that out as well, so it doesn't matter. Um, you know what? I might just do it um, yellow to red, maybe, because I'm pretty sure they're close enough colors anyway. And then we'll go through. You know, I'll just do the regular blue for the rest of these. There we go. That's all colour did. Right, we can start. It's pretty nice. I hope that these videos are going to start helping people out, helping with their boredom. And I feel so sorry for anyone who knows someone, was family with someone who has the virus. Good luck getting them back up to health. Or otherwise, I feel bad. Right, that's nicely blended. Now we can move on to yellow. She's a vibrant yellow like that. Nice. You know, I'll just end it like there. Create a dot there so I know where I'm going to end it. Yeah. Nice. We'll do it like that. We'll do red all up in the middle. There. That's a nice outline to that, though. Right, let's do this. Then after this, we're all done. I can tag it. There we go. That went surprisingly quickly. Maybe I just went quiet. Right, 
that's oh that little space there is gonna annoy me. With this, that's about as good a blend as you're gonna get. Um, I'll just do here as well. <laughs> My brother's online. <laughs> Oh, he's probably watching the stream. That's why everyone's coming online, because they're all watching the stream. That's why Muffin Man and my brother did, anyway. I swear to God, if he comes... Oh, he's invited me to play. No! Sorry. I'm kind of working here, bro. I can't save this yet. I don't think he he's quite figured out how to request invites yet. I'll invite him, why not? He's a good boy. I need to click go to, that would have been a disaster. What's my notifications? Just just him. If he turns up, he turns up. Don't matter. I'm actually going to move away. Yeah, there he is. There's Toby in all of his glory playing on his computer without a VR headset. Hello, Toby. Yeah, you can draw on the big board. Don't draw anything naughty because I'm actually watching you. And his hand's in the ceiling. Alright, we're going to keep going though. Here we go. A nice bright colour, I like it. Is he writing high stream on the board? Here he is. That's sweet of him. Here we go. It's a shame he does need to stop playing. He needs to stop playing it more. Because otherwise he's just going to look like that for ages. What did you write? Did you write stream wrong? <laughs> We'll just do that chunk for now. So it's a bit of back and forth. If you look how it's going now, see? Oh no. What happens? I'm legit scared. Oh, I might have just lost connection. I've been, I'm back at my dorm, aren't I? Oh, that sucks. Well, unfortunately, we were not able to finish that drawing because I will not be able to go back to that room. But you know what I'm going for. So just, you know, you know what what my what we were going for. So I'm sorry I couldn't finish it, but it's nice to. It's just how it goes sometimes. It's nice to end where we started. So like. That's all from me. Um, well, we'll, I'm pretty sure we'll see you tomorrow. So. <laughs>